A few months ago, I started watching YouTube channels such as Corey from Aquarium Co-op and Nick from Keeping Fish Simple, who are both breeding fish out of homemade fish rooms. And I had been into the aquarium hobby for about a year before and decided I'd give it a shot. I started with just some platies and some guppies, two species I thought would be really easy to sell. But unfortunately, the guppies died due to poor cycling on my part. But what did spawn were the platies and some mystery snails in a separate tank that I didn't even get for breeding. I took the eggs, I floated them on the top of the water, and I was able to hatch out some mystery snails. I have about 45 for sale, and I'm planning on selling them for about 50 cents a piece, and these will be my first sales of my small fish breeding business. I hope to sell them soon, and I hope that the profits from them will allow me to get some upgrades like some brine shrimp hatcheries or some live foods. The egg clutch here you see is when I put the two snails in that tank into a more official tank where the guppies used to be and they spawned again with a much larger clutch. I am using this channel as a way to kind of document my journey through fish keeping and fish breeding and to see where my business goes from now to later and how it expands. But today I want to talk about how to breed mystery snails. Mystery snails were very easy to breed for me as I bred them on accident in a tank that wasn't even set up for breeding. And I found that they can handle a large range of different water conditions and water parameters. However, I have seen that they prefer harder water, which is lucky because here in Ohio we have very hard tap water. To breed mystery snails, first you need to see if you have a male and a female. If you buy like four or five at a store, chances are you'll get a male and a female but a good kind of telltale sign is if one crawls out of the tank. If you see one crawl out of the tank, then it's almost a guarantee that that's a female. After putting a male and a female in a tank for about 10 to 15 days, you should start to see egg cases pop up. Once you see these egg cases pop up, you can either let them sit where they are. The females are very good at knowing how much humidity the eggs need and where to put them so that they get that humidity. Something I forgot to mention is that you should leave a good three to four inches of space for the female to properly lay those eggs. An alternative to just letting them stay there is you can float them on the top of the tank. To do this, remove the eggs very carefully as to not to crush all of them. I'd wait like a day after the eggs were laid. This gives them a higher chance of not being crushed and they tend to harden. Once you do this, get a damp paper towel that's dampened with dechlorinated or tank water. Poke some holes in the top of a plastic container and set them in there. And then just let them flow on the top of the tank and within two to three weeks the eggs should hatch and you can pour them back in. To ensure the health of the eggs, I'd replace the paper towel twice a week and I'd check on the eggs probably every day to make sure that if they hatch you can quickly pour them into the tank and just to make sure that they're fertile and that everything's going well and there's no bugs or fungi in there. Once the baby snails are in the tank, I would recommend not feeding them for about a week, but then after that, I recommend feeding them split apart algae wafers or like blanched vegetables. Make sure not to overfeed your snails as to not ruin the water quality. So watch as your snails eat, like at the end of the day after you feed your snails, make sure that they're eating all the food and that it's not just sitting to rot in that tank. The snails shown earlier are about a month and a half old. They're quite large and a lot of them are ready for sale. However, I did get a few runts that are very small and pretty much the same size as the other ones. I'm gonna give them a few more weeks to try to develop, but if I don't see any progress, I'm sadly gonna have to cull them. A lot of hobbyists say to hatch out the baby mystery snails in the same tank as the parents. However, I had no issues with hatching them out in a completely separate tank. The first batch I did in the 20 gallon tank and I've done water changes twice a week, about 25% each and that's been working well for me. And in my next clutch though, I do plan to do it in a 10 gallon tank and I plan to do the same 25% water change system. I recommend everyone to try their own techniques with their snails and this video is just about what has worked for me. Mess around with different foods, different water qualities, different filters and just see what works best. 